Alright guys, let's talk about how to execute some quick paint jobs. In order to do this, we're going to use directional lighting. We're going to give it a really cool comic book look that's quick and easy to do. And I'm going to fill you in on a couple of the mistakes that I made along the way so that hopefully you guys don't fall into the same trap. In order to get this fire spray ready for paint, I decided to get a nice even coat over it, and for that I'm going to be using Stylo Res Black. After that layers down, I'm going to start on that first topic we were talking about, directional lighting. In order to do that, I'm going to use a white primer, and I'm going to shoot this from the top right. This is where my simulated sun's going to be. The key to this is to get a high contrast look, and the white I've got in here is going to also be used to set up my engine glow for later on. Now that I have the foundation down for my directional lighting, I'm going to be grabbing my fluorescent blue ink. This allows me to get good color without covering up that base layer that I just put down. This is going to take a couple passes, especially if you're using an ink. Either you're going to put it on too thick and you're going to obscure what's underneath, or it's going to spider web out. Just focus on laying down a nice even pass, let it dry, and then come back and put down your second pass. And if it's not the brightness, if it's not the opacity that you want, let it dry, come back in with a third pass. And here we are at my first mistake. I should have painted this cockpit canopy and then masked it off before doing the rest of the ship rather than doing it the other way around. On to the second thing on the list, making it look much more like a comic book. In order to do this, I'm going to exaggerate the edge highlights. I'll adjust the brightness of the edge highlights based on where it is on the model. If it's in the bright area where my light source is, it'll obviously be much brighter. If it's in the shadowed black areas, I'm going to use a very, very dark edge highlight. Another thing that I'm doing to help sell this comic book effect is these random hash marks. This doesn't really have a lot of rhyme or reason to it. You just have to use a color that's brighter than your base layer, make one set of lines, and then come back in and make your perpendicular set of lines. The things you want to avoid is uniformity or completely over saturating the model with this effect. All right, a little bit of change of pace. We're gonna tackle the very small amount of metallics that are on here. I'm keeping this pretty simple and straightforward by simply using a silver color. That's it. I didn't talk about this earlier on, but let's talk about color theory. On the back of the ship, I'm going to be using a complementary scheme. That's just blue and orange. The orange is going to be my engine glow. And obviously the blue is going to show up where some of the light from my light source is hitting. On the front, I'll be using a triadic scheme. Again, using the blue of the ship and then adding in a little bit of red and yellow in the cockpit canopy. For engine glow, the best thing that I have found, whether airbrushing it or dry brushing it in, is to start from the outside with the darkest version of your color and keeping it very transparent and then building up the opacity and the brightness the closer you get to your engine. Ideally, only the center of the engine where it's actually emitting the light from should be a white color. And here is the second mistake that I talked about. When doing this canopy, I should have concentrated on creating a star field first. By putting this planet in, I really limit my options. If instead I had sprayed in my stars and some of my color swirl in the background to make it interesting, I could have avoided a lot of the headache of working around the planet that I had already blocked in. So do yourself a favor, do your background first and then put in your foreground subject. It's pretty simple, but if you're not thinking ahead, it's easy to miss. Anyways, I guess you could say that I have paid the price for my lack of vision. 
In order to try and remedy that, I'm going to be putting in a yellow belt around this big planet and then I'll be glazing in some red in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to have to blend that in with a little bit of black to try and make it look a little more natural. Again, putting it down first would have solved a lot of this. From there, it's time to take that contrast dial and crank it up to 11. I'll be adding a bunch of coal black with some flow improver in it into all the lines between the panels. The easiest way to do this is to lay down a gloss coat and then use capillary action to cause that to be pulled through the panel lines so you don't have to hit every single area. And then for the final effect to sell this, I'm going to go back to the canopy to push the comic book look a little bit further. I'm going to be adding white lines to simulate the light playing across the glass. After that's done, the entire ship is going to get sealed with a matte varnish. Then I will come back in and put a gloss varnish just over the cockpit and on the engine. That's going to help use the natural light in a room to get that a little bit brighter and a little bit more reflective. And with that, we're done with this one. Like I said, it was a pretty quick paint job. We established our directional lighting, nice and strong, getting that contrast. Gave it a nice comic book look through the use of that excessive highlighting and through the hashing. And we talked about a couple ways in which I messed up. Hopefully that's gonna help you guys save a little bit of time and a little bit of energy. If you were really pressed for time, there are several ways you can do the canopy a lot faster. Probably about a third of the time that I've spent on this ship was in the canopy. So you could save yourself even more time by just doing a simple black or a simple solid black canopy with some of those light lines played in there just to give it a little bit of interest. You definitely do not need to go all out and do planets and solar systems and stars. Whatever it is that you have time for and that you enjoy the look of on your ship. All right, that's it guys. It's quick, it's easy, and it makes your ships look really good. If you enjoyed this video, if you got anything out of it, please go ahead and give me that thumbs up. And if you want to see some more of it later on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.